If you are managing 10 or more withholding returns or payments, you may be eligible to utilize the SCDOR's batch withholding process. The batch withholding function in My Doorway allows users to file 10 or more returns and make 10 or more prepayments all at once in one simple and easy process. If you were already participating in the batch withholding program before it transitioned to My Doorway in June 2024, you do not need to reapply. If you aren't currently enrolled in the batch withholding program, you'll need to fill out an application. To begin, log in to My Doorway. Click the More tab at the top of the page. Click the Batch Withholding Program Application link in the other panel. Enter your contact information in the fields provided. Click Next to continue. Enter the number of quarterly withholding returns you will be filing and the tax year. You must be filing a minimum of 10 returns each quarter to participate in the Batch Withholding Program. Click Next to continue. Review the summary page to ensure that all information is correct. Once you're finished, click Submit. Enter your password, which serves as your electronic signature, and then click OK to submit your application. The confirmation screen has your confirmation number. Print or write down your confirmation number so that you can track this application in the future. After submitting your application, you will have access to the Batch Withholding Program within 24 hours. Click OK when you're finished. Now that you are approved for the Batch Withholding Program, let's talk about how to upload a Batch Withholding Return file. Log into My Doorway and click the More tab. Click the Upload Batch Withholding Return Files link. Choose the type of returns you are filing, either the WH-1605 or the WH-1606, and then click Next. You can only upload either the WH-1605 or 1606 returns in one batch withholding upload. For this example, we will be filing the WH-1605 returns. Fill out the Submitter Information section. Click the checkbox to confirm that all submitter information is correct. Click the Add Attachment button in the Attachments panel to add your batch withholding return files and the withholding backup report. Click the link at the top of the page for formatting instructions for these files. Batch withholding files must be in the .txt format. In the pop-up window that appears, choose the type of file in the drop-down menu and enter a description for the file. Click Choose File to locate and add the file from your computer. Click OK to add the file. If your files contain errors, My Doorway will display an error message outlining the errors that need to be corrected. If errors exist in your file, you will not be able to complete the upload. See the WH405 Batch Withholding Program Guide for information on how to resolve file errors. Repeat the process for your withholding backup report, which can be in the .xls, .xlsx, .csv, or PDF format. Click Next to continue. Review the summary page to ensure that you have attached the correct files. Click Submit to submit your batch withholding files. Enter your password, which serves as your electronic signature, and click OK. The confirmation screen has your confirmation number. Print or write down your confirmation number so that you can track this transaction in the future. If you need to access this submission in the future, you can open this transaction at any time by clicking the Search Submissions link in the Submissions panel. Batch filers can now use My Doorway to make bulk withholding payments, which allows you to make payments from one bank account for multiple withholding accounts. To make a bulk withholding ACH payment, click the More tab. Click the Bulk Withholding ACH Debit Payment link in the Payments and Returns panel. You have two options when making a bulk withholding payment. You can either download and fill out an Excel template using the link provided, or manually fill out the table. The Excel template option can save you time if you are making a large number of payments. After you download and fill out the Excel template, click the Upload Report button to upload the document. 
the Excel report will automatically fill out the table. Enter the total payment amount in the total payments field. Once you have completed the table with either method, click Next. My doorway will display any errors in your report, which must be corrected before proceeding. Fill out the payment information panel with your routing and account numbers and choose the bank account type. If you would like to save this bank for future use, click Yes at the bottom of the payment information panel. Enter the payment amount in the payment panel. Click Next to continue. Review the summary page to ensure that all information is correct and then click Submit to submit your ACH debit payment. Enter your password which serves as your electronic signature and click OK. Print or write down your confirmation number and then click OK. Batch filers can also submit a request in My Doorway for ACH credit payment approval for a client, which immediately gives preparers the ACH credit banking and format details. If you would like to authorize an ACH credit for a client, click the More tab. Click the Request ACH Credit Banking Instructions link in the Payments and Returns panel. Review your contact information and click the checkbox to verify that the information is correct. Click Next to continue. Enter your client's business information, including their business ID, tax type, and file number. Keep in mind that this process is available for many tax types, not just withholding. Click Next to continue. Review the summary page to ensure that all information is correct. Once you're finished, click Submit. Enter your password, which serves as your electronic signature, and then click OK. You are now approved to make ACH credit payments with the SCDOR. Print or write down your confirmation number for your records. Click the Print ACH Credit Approval button to print a copy of the approval letter. Provide the approval letter to the appropriate department in your company to initiate payments to the state's bank. If you need to access this letter in the future, navigate to the More tab and click the Submissions link. The approval letter will be located in your submissions. Click the approval letter link in the title column and then click Print ACH Credit Approval to print the approval letter. You may access any other ACH approval authorizations at any time through the Submissions link under the More tab. For more information about My Doorway, including tutorials and how to sign up, visit dor.se.gov/mydoorway. Thanks for watching.